Uh, it's Toby from Heavyweight MMA here today again with the pride of the Central Coast, Mr. Jamie Malarkey, lightweight UFC fighter. Um, catching up with him because he's got a fight coming up against Devontae Smith in October 2nd or October 3rd if you're in Australia. And um, I, this is on the UFC fight night, Santos versus Walker. Pretty pumped for it. How are you feeling, man? Feeling good. Feeling good. Uh, training's going well and um, got, a, got a good feeling about this one. Awesome, man. When did you find out that you had to fight? I uh, found out about four weeks ago. Um, and now we're six weeks out. So, yeah, it's been good. It's been a <clears throat> really good camp. What's your camp normally? How long is a normal camp? Like, what do you like to have as a camp before a fight? <clears throat> um, I, I like six to eight weeks. Six yep. to eight weeks. Because I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape all the time. Uh, yep. Now that I'm training uh, full time and this is my job, so I'm never, you know, real bad out of shape anymore. Those days are kind of gone. Um, yep. So I, I like to go six to eight weeks is is pretty perfect. And then if I've got an extra couple of weeks, I just um I just try time it right, you know. Yep. So you've been in good form. Uh, I noticed some footage come out a while back of you down with uh with Volkanovski having a bit of a bit of a um a snorkel or something looking for some fish taking some time out that was a pretty cool little video you got there mate yeah yeah no it's been good it's been good just getting that down downtime in it's uh it's perfect for uh, in between in between sessions after training and whatnot that's it man hey um so what does a typical week look like now I, as far as like you're at home you're kind of trapped a certain way because of covid but you're still fitting the workouts in however possible um what does it look like do you still schedule in all the normal components that you'd schedule in like you're scheduling your your pads your wrestling etc but of course you're limited to what how you can train yeah yeah we are limited at the moment so it's um it's just another obstacle man like it's it's just a, another sort of thing that you have to get around to get to the fight uh, with COVID, uh, making training a little bit harder at the moment, but we're still getting all the same sessions in. We're getting yeah. all the workload in, um, just doing the best we can with, with what we've got. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, in eight weeks, you're not going to smash out a completely new skill set. So really, it's about making sure that your, car your cardio strength, everything's there, right, ready to go, just fine tuning, getting the reflexes right. So you can do it in another way it might not be optimal but you can still get there right yeah yeah exactly um still learning still still always learning uh in a camp i hate when people say that you, you the camp's not about learning because um you know I, I i learn every single day and picking up new skills but uh yeah the what the workload is probably the it is the most important thing so what are your thoughts about this opponent man Devonte smith what are your feelings about him um, he's good, good opponent. Um, we've, we haven't like sat down and watched too much just yet. Uh, I'll probably, I'll, I'll be doing that soon. I've, I've watched bits and pieces. Yeah. Um, rangy fighter, uh, likes the bank, likes to, likes to get in and strike. So yeah. I think it's going to be another fun fight. It's him, man. He seems pretty athletic, right? Like, uh, the look of him and also the way he moves, he's got the long, long straight punches, Seems to like a, a switch left kick and also the the calf kick, and uh, and loves coming forward and being explosive, right? So it should be a pretty exciting fight when you two clash. Yeah, it will be. It will be. I'm looking forward to it. Now, man, um, recently your last fight, you had a mad fight. Uh, you came out against Karma Worthy and just took him out in no time with a nice uh, fake right hand, left hook. Um, now he actually KO'd Devonte Smith back in UFC in 2019. So MMA, MMA Mass says you win immediately, bro. Are you taking the win? What are you visualizing? Uh nah, that's it's it's completely different fight, you know. <laughs> like I think uh mentally, mentally I've got a win over him already. Uh, I do think that mentally he's thinking I I just KO'd the guy that KO'd him. Yep. But really, it doesn't mean anything. It's a it's a totally new fight. He brings different um different problems, different skills to the table. So I'm not really looking at that as, um, you know, I'm, I'm, it's whatever. I'm, I'm looking at him in front of me and what I've got to do to beat him. Yeah, man. And then um, psychologically, like this, out of interest, you're going to go in, in on October October 2nd over there. And um, <coughs> where are you at now for your mental state? Do you do any mental preparation from this point? Do you start like visualizing anything or, or any sort of way you start to get yourself ready? 
Uh, yeah, I like to visualize and um, just look at what I what I have to do. You know, like it's a it's a long sort of journey. Um, the fight journey is it's very very mental, as as a lot of people know. So um, I like to take my time and uh, look at what I look at what I got to do. Look at where I've come as well. You know, do a little bit of uh, self reflection and um, kind of puts you in a little in a good good place to just keep driving, keep grinding. That's it, man. And and do you get any sort of nerves at this point or, or is that sort of thing happen a little bit like closer to the fight for you or you don't feel the nerves? Uh, it's funny. It, like when the fight gets announced, I do. So like yep. uh, when, when you when you find out if you're fighting, it's like, yep, another fight. But when it gets announced and the, the poster goes out, you get those little feelings and you get the the uh, excitement. Um, but then it dies down, man. Like yeah, you, you, it, it's a job. So those uh those nerves are good um just no point in having them six weeks out from the fight you know yeah that's it you can it'll just wear you out right if you think about that sort of thing too much and let it overcome you it'll be uh detrimental to training right yeah they're there but i like to i like to have them there but they're always controlled you know yeah. Um, don't let them overcome you. You just you have them there because they're important. It's important to have those nerves there, but um, just don't let it overcome you. That's it, man. And how how is it going to work for you to get out of the country and over overseas and everything? Like, how's that going to work in this time of uh, lockdowns and COVID and everything? Um, yeah. So we've been me and uh, Ross, my coach, that's coming out with me. We've been um, both fully vaccinated, so that's just something that we have to do to get into America at the moment, just make things a little smoother. I'm hoping that uh, they don't, they bring out like a new rule that we don't have to quarantine for as long as soon as we're vaccinated. And if we pass the test, um, I don't know if we, if we, if we come back with a negative test after a few days, we, I think we should be allowed to sort of like go home and do a, a home quarantine or something, but That's it. we'll see how that goes. But um, as far as getting over there, it's just, um, it's it's a bit longer of a process, yeah. Yeah, what, what vaccination did you get? And did you feel any effects from it, any ill effects or anything? I got the Pfizer vaccination and um, I didn't feel anything. Yeah, what about your, your trainer, Ross? Did he feel anything? He's all right? Uh, no, he's, I think he's pretty much the same. Like, I felt like minor fatigue, like minor fatigue. So, but I, we like kind of prepared for that. So I prepared to have a couple of days off, you know. Yeah, I didn't, uh, didn't try to train through it or anything. I just listened to the body and just had a few days off, and I was sweet. That's good, man. That's good, mate. Have you made a call to the to the Malaki Army to prepare? And how are they going to watch? They're all going to have to watch from their house at this point, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be hopefully that the restrictions ease a little bit um, by the time I fight. But yeah, it's it, it sucks, man. It sucks that everyone can't get out and. Um, Got to be gathering over over to the Aaron Leagues Club. That's that's the spot to go. <laughs> Leagues, um, the old Aaron Leagues. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate. That's it. That's it. I got a membership so, there, bro. <laughs> you still do? I think so. I don't think I got it last time I went back, but it's been I haven't been back for two years because I've been stuck because of COVID. But yeah, I did have one anyway last time I was there. Man, yeah, um. That's it, man. Uh, yeah. Hey, man. Um. So I know you can't obviously can't talk too much about any any um any plans you have on how you're going to approach a fight, but is there anything you can talk about or, or not on that respect? Nope. Oh, really? Just, uh, yeah, I expect you to be tight lipped, man. So my take is I reckon uh, this guy's a first round fighter, man. I reckon drag him into the deep waters, uh, counter, smash his legs out, wear him out and take him out in the later rounds. That's my take on it, man. But another thing I was thinking, bro, this guy, you know, he had some damage to his leg before. Uh, no, I didn't know that. Uh, he had like uh, Achilles damage. I, I just heard him in an interview before. I'm thinking, thinking if you get a chance, mate, straight leg lock, toe hold, <laughs> heel hook, uh, take it out, bro. <laughs> you got to know which one that. it is, though. That's a follow. I'm not sure which one it was. <laughs> yeah. Hey, another yeah, thing more. too, bro. Watching him, he um, there's a couple of dirty fights, man, and a little bit dirty. Like you watch him against, uh, I think it was Dong Hyun Ma, the guy. He was um, he, he punched him in the back of the head a few times, and um, also. Joseph Lowry, the same sort of thing, man. So he's getting hit in the back of the head. Have you have you thought of doing any iron back of the head training or anything like that to come up against him? No, I haven't. 
I haven't, haven't even uh, I haven't even seen any of that, but I'll, I'll be aware of it. <laughs> Something to be aware, mate. Maybe get uh get your coach to give you a couple of punches in the back of the head just to get <laughs> get ready. Might have to do think? some head conditioning. <laughs> that's it, man. Anyway, man, um, I think that's enough. I just wanted to catch up with you, see how you're traveling in this difficult time and see how you're preparing. Uh, also, wishing you all the best of luck, man, from all us coasties, you know. We all hope you do well. Like I said, pride of the coast. Good luck getting over there, staying fit, keeping safe, and uh, and good luck in your fight, man. I hope you take Devontae Smith out. We'll be watching. Will do, brother. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, bro.